Today's question is how can we stop our bread from going mouldy? And in order to answer this question, we're going to be doing a lot of looking. So look who we're helping us. But stand by, neurons. I may need help from all of you today. OK. Let's go. will be finding out about mould. Green mould, brown mould, long, fluffy, hairy mould. So today, for one day only, Alex and her brother John become the experimenters. Hi, guys. Hi, hi Nina. And hi, Alex. Thanks for your great question. How can we stop our bread from going mouldy? So why do you want to know all about mould? Sometimes we get mould growing on the bread and then we have to throw it away. Oh, and you wouldn't want to eat mouldy bread, would you? No. So in order to answer your question, I think we need to find out all about mould. And to do that, we need to go back to my lab. Look, are you standing by and ready to help? At your service, Nina. OK, let's go. <laughs> Now, to most people, mould is disgusting. But to a scientist like me, it's fascinating. In fact, I've even been growing my own mould. <laughs> but first of all, let me show you some fresh samples. Oh, now we've got some soft cheese, some jam and some fruit. No mould on it at all. So let me show you another sample. I'll just sit that there. Oh, here is the sample that has got mould on it. Gross! <laughs> Look at all that mould that's been growing. That's amazing. <laughs> it's covered in green fuzzy hair, like tiny monsters. Mouldy foods can make you feel a bit unwell, so we just have to be very careful with it. Now, do you know mould grows in lots of other things, not just bread? I had an orange in my school bag and it went black and mouldy. That's right, different moulds grow on different food. Now let's have a closer look down here. You see, there are lots of different types of moulds, all different colours and shapes. But not all moulds are bad for you, actually. Some cheeses are deliberately mouldy and some special moulds actually help fight diseases. But ones that grow accidentally on your food, they're definitely bad for you. Now, these samples have been growing for two weeks. Would you like to see some samples that have been growing for four weeks? Yes, please. <laughs> now, what do you think they'll be like? Bigger. Mm -hmm. Hairier. No! No, no, no! Not the hairy, mouldy monster bed! Ah! <laughs> you make me laugh, bud. But shush! Let's listen to what Nina has to say. Look at that! There's much more mould growing in the older food. You see, mould is a bit like us. It likes eating food. So the more time it has to eat, the bigger it gets. So we know the longer we leave food, the more likely it is to grow mouldy. Oh, but we still haven't answered your question. How can we stop our bread from going mouldy? Oh, I've got an idea for an experiment. But we're going to have to go back to the house. Oh, come on, let's go! <laughs> Okay, hey guys, can you show me where you normally keep bread? The bread bin. My goodness, what a lot of bread! Oh, I do love the smell of fresh bread. And what about the bread at the front there? That's um, the bread left from yesterday's picnic. Leftover bread. Well, that's perfect for our next experiment. So let's start by putting it into some bags. So can you bring it over for me, John? Excellent. So one slice there. So, Alex, you're going to put this piece somewhere really warm, like the airing cupboard. Oh, it'll be lovely and warm in there. And, John, you're going to put this piece of bread somewhere very cold, like... Freezer. Good idea. And I'm going to put a piece back in the bread bin where it's normally kept. So, off you go. Hello. Now look guys, there's one piece of bread left. Where will we put that one, Nina? Well, I was thinking I'm going to take it home with me. 
Mmm! Maybe Nina's going to eat it when she gets home. <laughs> As if Nina would eat an experiment bud. Now what we're going to do is leave all the bread where it is for two whole weeks and then I'll come back and see if there's been any changes to the bread. Is that okay with you guys? Yes! yes. Excellent. Okay, see you soon. Bye. See you soon, Nina. Bye. <laughs> Hi guys! Hi Nina! Have there been any changes in the bread? Yes, quite a lot. Oh well let's go and collect them and I'll meet you back in the kitchen. Oh, so just pop them up there for me. Now where was this one kept? The freezer. Oh. Oh, that's very firm and hard Nina. It sounds like a piece of wood. It's frozen solid and look, there's no mould on it at all. Hmm, but we can't eat it yet because it's frozen. We'd have to wait till it defrosted. So let's have a look at the next one. Now I collected this one from the bread bin. Oh, that's interesting. This one's definitely soft, but there's a little bit of mould on there. So let's have a look at the next one. Oh! Whoa, that's one big furry piece of bread, Nina. Oh, you're right, look, this one's really mouldy. So where was this one kept? In the Eden cupboard. And why do you think this one's the mouldiest? Because the Eden cupboard's warm. That's right, the Eden cupboard is warm. So, from our experiment, we found out that mould grows quicker in warm places. So if you want your bread to stay fresh for the longest time, you should keep it in a cool place. So what about the bread bin? Do you think that's in a warm place or a cool place? Well, it's quite cool, you know, but it's right next to the cooker and the toaster, so it could get warm at times. Ah, well, in that case, I think we should move the bread bin to an even cooler place, perhaps over here. Oh, there we go. And even in a cool place, if you leave bread long enough, it will eventually go mouldy. Nina, where's the bread you put in your bag? Um, actually I ate it on the way home last week. <laughs> <laughs> I remember you did, Nina, and it was very tasty. Of course, I did eat it for a scientific reason. You see, eating fresh food is the best way to stop it going mouldy. So the piece that I took away didn't go mouldy at all. We should always try and eat the food that we buy before it goes mouldy because we don't want to waste perfectly good food. We've got lots of bread, Nina. Maybe we've bought too much. Well, that's a good point, John. If you don't want to waste food, you shouldn't buy too much. We should all only buy what we need. So, Alex, your question was, how can we stop our bread from going mouldy? And I think we've answered it. First, we found out that it's not just bread that goes mouldy. We also saw mould on cheese and jam. And the longer we left it, the more mould there was. Next, we discovered that mould grows quicker in warm places and slower in cool places. And it doesn't grow at all if you store it in a freezer. And so we moved our bread bin to a cooler place. That's right. But we discovered the best way to stop mould growing on food is to eat it before it goes mouldy, so it doesn't get wasted, and not wasting food helps to protect our planet. Thanks, Nina. Bye, guys. Bye, Nina. Help protect our planet. Go eco. Go eco. Walk to school or cycle. Go eco. Go eco. Turn off the tap. Switch off the light. Recycle what you can Help protect our planet Go Eco Go Eco Go Eco Ah, it's been such a great day, man All those different types of mould were so cool to look at Oh, I've had a brilliant day Listening to Nina explaining all about mould and how it grows I really enjoyed myself today Smelling all that delicious fresh bread. Mmm. I've had a baby day. Hiding all the slices of bread in different places was great fun. We've had a sensational time today. I hope you've enjoyed it too. Bye. Bye. Bye.